main difficulty with the binary search algorithm is that essentially our brains do it all for us. Here we've got a list of names and we know that the target we're looking for is Hermione. And everybody can just look at this list and know exactly where the value is. So what we've got to do is pretend that we are a computer or something like that and think logically through the process of how do we find something. The binary search algorithm is the best way. So what we do first of all, of course, is identify the middle item. Now there's 13 names in the list. The middle one is Harry. So that is not equal to Hermione. So we think, because these are all arranged in alphabetical order, is Hermione before or after? Of course, we know that Hermione comes after Harry. So we're limiting our list now to those values that come after Harry. So now we've got six items in our list. We once again identify the middle one. Now here we've got an even number of items in the list. So what we do is the middle position would usually be in about there, in between Molly and Remus. We take the second of those two values. So we're actually going to take Remus as our middle value. Does Hermione come before or after Remus? Well, of course it comes before. So we're going to take everything in between Remus and Harry now as our list. There's three items there. We take the middle one, easily identified as being Minerva. That's our middle one. There's Hermione before or after. Well, it's before Minerva. So we're now limited to just one item in the list. And of course, it is Hermione, and we found it there. So there is our value. The main places that people go wrong with this algorithm are first of all making sure that all of their uh, data points are in order, so either numerical or alphabetic, um, and also in identifying those middle values which then lead you to the true value. So just be very careful when you're doing that. In this example, we're looking for Nick from the list. So we follow the same process. We've got six items, so the middle one would be in between Natasha and Steve, but we take Steve as the second value as being our middle one. Nick comes before there, so we look for values above it. So we've got three values now. Clint is the middle one. We take that as our search point. Nick comes after there. After Clint, there's only one value, Natasha. There's only one in the list, so we have to stop. And it isn't Nick, so we know that, that, so that Nick is not in the list. And that's all there is for the binary search algorithm.